Okay, so in this video, what I want to do is sketch these four exponential functions on the same diagram. So really you can see how one relates to the other and how they compare. So we're going to have y equals 2 to the x as the blue curve. Okay, so I've got the blue pen ready. Let's draw that straight on. So we're going to hug the x-axis quite tightly over on the left-hand side. And then shoot off up like that. And we know that when x is 0, we're going to get 2 to the 0, which is 1. Okay, so I know that this curve is going to go through uh, the y-axis at 1. So this is y equals 2 to the x. Okay, so the next one is this y equals 3 to the x. Now, y equals 3 to the x, when x is 0, you'll get 3 to the 0, which is 1. So I know that it goes through 1. Now, also, as x is increasing, so we get x is 1, 2, 3, we're going to get y values of 3, 9, 27, which is larger than the x values, sorry, the y values for 2 to the x, which was 2, 4, 8. So 3 to the x increases faster than 2 to the x. Now, as you go to the left of the y-axis, so x is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, you get y values of a third, a ninth, a twenty-seventh, which are smaller than the y values for 2 to the x, which would have been at a half, a quarter, an eighth. So it, in, it increases faster to the right of the y-axis and decreases faster to the left of the y-axis. So to represent that, I have to have a curve that goes through 1, but then is decreasing faster than the 2 to the x. So this would be y equals 3 to the x. Okay? So now, y equals 4 to the x. Well, in much the same way, um, when x is 0, you're going to get 4 to 0, which is 1. So it goes through 1. When x, well, as x is increasing, so 1, 2, 3, the y values are going to go 4, 16, 64. So it's increasing even faster than 3 to the x. And as you're going to the left of the y-axis, you're going to get x values of minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So y values of a quarter, a sixteenth, a sixty-fourth. And so it's decreasing faster as well. And so 4 to the x, well, that's a poor, poor curve, it looks something like that. Now, although I've drawn them very close to the x-axis here and I kind of drew over the x-axis there, these curves are not crossing the x-axis, remember. Okay, so we've got to be a little bit careful with our sketch. You know, it's a bit difficult to draw them all on um, at the same time like that, but just make sure that when you're sketching it, the, the curve does not cross that x-axis there. So we've got these curves, and you can imagine that as I ramp up this number here, okay, the a uh, of a to the x, so we go to 5 to the x, 6 to the x, 10 to the x, these curves will be steeper and steeper and steeper and steeper, still going through 1 and decreasing a lot faster as well. Now, how about this 1 half to the x? Now, 1 half to the x, as x is increasing, well, when x is 0, let's start with that, we're going to get half to the 0, which is 1. So we do know that it still goes through 1. Now, as x is increasing, so 1, 2, 3, the y values are going to go 1 half, a quarter, an eighth. And as x is Decreasing, so minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, we're going to get a half to the minus 1, which is 2, a half to the minus 2, which is 4, a half to the minus 3, which is 8. So actually, it's going to look just like that y equals 2 to the x, but the mirror image. OK. 
Okay, so there is y is equal to 1 half to the x. Okay, so how can we get to that stage? Well, we can think about this as going, well, 1 half we know we can write as 2 to the minus 1. And now using our indices knowledge, you can rewrite this as 2 to the power of minus 1 times x. So 2 to the minus x. So 1 half to the x is the same as 2 to the minus x. And if you compare these two, well, what's happened is that the x has been replaced with minus x. So where you originally had uh, 1, 2, that has been swapped to minus 1, 2, because the x value has changed sign. So all of the x values of the 2 to the x curve has, have swapped Okay, I've changed sign, and that has caused this reflection. So this gives you an idea of what exponential curves look like okay, when compared with one another. The next thing to do is look at how we can sketch them after a transformation.